Against the odds time by popular demand. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm playing this. Red Black Minotaurs in modern. Lightning Bolt on top. So let's see if we can win, can win with Red Black Minotaurs. Uh, let's just lead on Mountain and bolt this Goblin Guide. We could play the Gnarled Scarhide, but it would cost us two life and a camp block. So this seems bad. It's like Naya Zoo, apparently. Swift Spear. Lava Spike. Well, we'll wait. Let our opponent attack. We get a land. Well, let's Lightning Bolt the Swift Spear. If we're going to leave something alive, it might as well be Goblin Guide. Down to 13. Now, let's play Pluta Delta. Pass the turn. Probably have to dismember this Goblin Guide. All right. Opponent goes to attacks. Goblin Guide reveals Lightning Bolt. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, we got to shuffle away the Lightning Bolt to get a Swamp. Dismember Goblin Guide. Cost us two life, but a little risky if they had uh, Gork Horn Rampager, but they did not. Ooh, Nicotl. And Lava Spike, we're down to seven. Bloodstain Mire. Well, I guess we just go Rage Monger into Free Gnarled Scarhide. Pass the turn. <laughs> no, we have a Rage Monger on the battlefield. Problem is, we still can't productively block Nicotl, but taking three seems really bad. Do we need a Chump? Yeah, I guess we pro probably have to Chump here, unfortunately. Can't block. Probably because it only has one arm. Uh, all right, well, at least we get to start playing. <laughs> Our nice one damage fanatic of Moguses. Are we just gonna die to lightning bolts? Looks like. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> so far so bad for red black minotaurs. Against burn, what do we even want? I guess maybe a go for the throw over a dismember. We could bring in blasphemous act to try to get the combo kill. That's one way we could potentially steal the game, I guess. Bring in our blasphemous axe, go down. <laughs> Our Diabolic Tutor, and we'll go down the Death Touch guy. Oh lord. Yeah, it's the, the Minotaur Nut Draw. Alright. Now we can pump up our Harvest Pyre with our Fetch Lands. That's something at least. There's no real reason that we're playing Snow Covered Lands. I just saw them in my collection and thought they looked cool, so we're playing them. Uh, there's a Nicotl. Uh, let's crack Pluta Delta, get a Blood Crypt. Tapped. Well, I guess we polluted Delta, crack it, get a swamp, play <laughs> Death Bellow Raider. So it's probably going to suicide itself into that wild Nicotl. With our fetch lands, though, we can uh, harvest Pyre than Nicotl if we have to. Another Nicotl. Ooh, and no land? Ooh, and a Boros Dragoner, but we can't cast it because I drew the swamp, or played the swamp. I guess we play the fetch land and Death Bellow. Opponent goes down to 15. Play our gnarled scar hide and just pass the turn there's a land but it doesn't pump the nicotles which is good opponent goes attacking a tarka's command all right let's crack bloodstain mire we gotta get a blood crypt we don't have any mountains where's our mountains Ugh. i'll have to check that between matches all right blood crypt untapped harvest pyre down to nine Ooh, rage blood shaman let's play rage blood get in for six and we might actually pull this off. Swift Spear, Bolt our Rage Blood. All right, not over yet though. I guess if they have like two more bolts or lava spikes, we're in trouble. I guess we can play both. Play the Swamp, Rage Monger. Play Boros Reckoner, attack with both. All right, can you burn us out? You're at five, we got a Boros Reckoner. Come on. Ooh, Nakatl is not a burn spell. Are we gonna live? They lava spike us. Okay, we're living. We draw. Wooded Foothills. So I guess we just attack with everything. When it blocks, we can still die to a burn spell next turn. Takes everything back. Switches up the blocks. Switches them again. Nope, back to the original. Alright, blocks with everything. Drops to two. We pass the turn. Come on, don't have a burn spell. Oh, the lack of a mountain. One mountain, there's supposed to be three. Our opponent didn't have it! We got Red Black Minotaurs actually won! Where are these mountains? There's three! Why didn't... That was a Bloodstained Mire we cracked, right? Why did our mountains not show up? That... I'm gonna have to watch that again. That was weird. Alright, let's run it back. Got a Reckoner that's good, and a Rage Monger. Our opponent's probably gonna start beating us down. Wild Nicotl. Well, let's just go with Smoldering Marsh, pass the turn. Wooded Foothills, cracks it. Swift Spear. And Goblin Guide. Ugh. All the one drops. We have a Blasphemous Act on top. I guess it could be good if we never cast it. Well, I guess we just gotta play Wooded Foothills and pass? One, two, three. So this costs nine, but one less to cast for each creature. So right now it costs six. 
we play this five yeah we're still not even close i think we gotta we gotta hope we can find a mountain to play boros reckoner kill this wild nakatl we also might just die to a targus command or something lava spike down to 11 one goes to attacks swings with everything so i think we are basically dead to a targus command lightning bolt on top crack wooded foothills get a mountain go for the throat the nakatl Oh, Boros trying to make it indestructible? Oh, God. Well, I think we're dead now. Down to two. And <laughs> another Minotaur that can't block. <laughs> oh, God. All right, all right. Well, we won one. All right, against odds, red black Minotaurs. And this is sort of the nut draw. We got one drop, two drop. Oh, man, are we playing Zoo again? Rage Blood. All right, untap land into Gnarled Scarhide. <laughs> Can get in there. <laughs> Old one arm. Oh, this is probably scape shift. Yeah, scape shift. Can we be fast enough? Let's attack with our gnarled scarhide. I don't think our opponent will actually trade. I think they need the land. So they'll probably block and sack it. If they do trade, that's kind of a bummer. All right, so no damage. Crack this, get a mountain, and fellhide brawler. <laughs> Curving out. We can play rage blood next turn, and then petrifier, or if we draw a mana, fanatic maybe there's a way we can steal this game trample and death touch is a good combo i guess our opponent has no idea what's happening worldly console look at the top x cards of your library where x is the number of basic land types you control put one in your hand rest on the bottom watery grave untapped and elder all right well the good news is we can trample over that elder so untapped land rage blood shaman trample gives all our other minotaurs plus one plus one and trample and so no chumping with secure tribe elder still not sure we're gonna be fast enough though so we can get in for five here or six yeah we get in for six that block does nothing all right all right well i don't know if we can live two more turns is the problem we're getting to the point where our opponent has enough lands to escape shift well he didn't play land Ooh, lord Lord, Lord, Lord. Are they gonna cryptic us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can hit our opponent to one. Well, let's try to play a Rage Blood. See if you, what happens. Counter draw isn't the end of the world. Counter tap is a little more annoying. But then they're not drawing another card to find their lands that they need. Oh, they go with counter bounce. Okay. Well, that is annoying. So we hit our opponent down to eight. Pass the turn. So we have a shot. They're going to Electrolyze, kill one of our creatures, draw a card, land, Reckoner. All right, so I guess that means we go with Rage Blood Shaman. Opponent has Remand. We get in for two. They don't have enough lands just to kill us yet. They would need another ramp spell, a land into another ramp spell into Scape Shift. There's the land. There's the Sakura Tribe Elder. Did they really draw it? Well, we're probably dead. Rage Blood. And our opponent drew a lot of counter spells. Remand. Yeah, we're most likely dead now. Attack. Our opponent blocks Sax, gets a land. We've just went way too long without resolving a spell. Sax, secure Tribe Elder. Oh, that was a lot of counters. Is it Charm? All right. Maybe they don't have it. Bring to light. Get Scape Shift. Yep. All right, that does it. Ay! All right, well, we got some sideboard stuff, which is good. Uh, thought Seizes, primarily. Going down Dismembers. Could bring in Blasphemous Act to try to steal the game, but I don't think we will. Go down Diabolic Tutor and, I guess, a Petrifier? Try it like that. All right, would we like to play first? Sure. Well, we can set things up so we can Thought Seize into Boros Reckoner, I guess, and then maybe Cargama Warcaller eventually. I don't think there's any reason to Thought Seize on turn one. We might as well wait till turn two. And then Thought Seize. I guess we just take the Sakura Tribe Elder. Because if we take one Bring to Light, it doesn't really do anything, because they have another one anyway. Bayloth is annoying, that's for sure. Another land. Let well, Snow Covered Mountain into our Boros Reckoner. Our curve's not horrible. Can Rage Blood into Warcaller? That's a lot of damage. Ooh, they draw Worldly Console. Land for our opponent and Search for Tomorrows gets another land. But we get to play a swamp, play rage blood shaman, play gnarled scarhide, get in with our reckoner so it puts our opponent down to 15 although they're gonna gain all that back. The only good news is if they play a bailoff we get to warcaller might be fast enough. Looks like they're gonna go with that plan. Bring to light, 
Oh my god. Anger of the Gods? That's bad. Well, we put our opponent to 12. Bloodstained Mire, crack it. Get a Smoldering Marsh. Play this War Caller. So we get to attack and put our opponent to 8, but we know they have another Bring to Light and that Obstinate Bailoff, which are going to be hard to beat. All right, War Caller. Put our opponent down to 8. Uh, there is the sixth land, so pretty much they can just bail off, play a land next turn, and then kill us with scape shift or bring the light for scape shift. Yeah, bail off puts our opponent back up to twelve. That helps potentially. Thought sees we can take the bring to light, so they don't have a scape shift in hand. So we're not just dead because we got rid of that bring to light. Well, they're gonna attack. Interesting. Well, let's draw a Minotaur. Well, Brawler isn't great, but it is a Minotaur. It does die to Electrolyze, which is bad. All right, let's get in there. If we attack with this, they can block, and they don't really need the land, and then just Electrolyze to kill our War Caller. And we really need our War Caller to stay alive. So we don't get in any damage, unfortunately. If they ever draw another Bring to Light or Scape Shift, we die on the spot, and we could just die to this Bailoff. All right, we're down to seven. Well, Lightning Bolt's something. Well, let's attack. I'm expecting our opponent to block and sack. They just sack? I think they meant to block, but they misclicked and just sacked. So now we put our opponent to 8, play a Blood Crypt, and theoretically, we are, if we live, we're a Minotaur away from winning. Another land for our opponent. So if our opponent is on blanks, any Minotaur should, oh no. I guess we just pass. Oh, <laughs> another bolt. Oh, we're giving our opponent way too much time to draw something. Well, there's a Minotaur. Let's play our Felhide Petrifier, see if it gets countered. Oh, they have a Remand. All right, let's play it again. Oh, they drew Remand into Remand? Oh, now they probably have something to kill us. Oh, my God. Remand into Remand. Are you serious? Oh, Minotaurs, you're... <laughs> oh, not going to get there. They naturally draw the Valakut, and they drew the Scape Shift looks like jeez they drew double remand all right well we made it close we were very close to winning but double remand all right <laughs> against the odds some more red black minotaurs and we got the old <laughs> zero lander many minotaurs zero lands gotta ship it fanatic of mogus to curve after our boros reckoner i guess we could call this the nuts uh i guess we just play mountain since we don't really want to shuffle away that Fanatic of Mogus. Swift Spear for our opponent. Taking one. Well, at least we got our Death Bellow. Crack it. Get a Mountain. Death Bellow Raider. Kind of a blocker for one turn, but then it has to attack. Our opponent's going to bolt our Death Bellow Raider. Oh, I always say this, but one of the th things I love about Against Odds is I get to say things that you'd never see in Magic. Bolt our Death Bellow Raider. That is, might be the first time that has ever happened in the entire history of Magic with 20 million players over 20 years of gameplay. I don't know if anyone's bolted a Death Bellow Raider before. All right, well, let's just pollute a Delta, crack it, get a Smoldering Marsh, and play this Boros Reckoner. Seems like decent defense. Another Holy Bolts. I guess we can try to kill the Swift Spear and a Skull Crack. Good lord. Well, we're going to be down to five, which is pretty bad. Well, <laughs> Diabolic Tutor. I guess we just bolt that thing finally. Spark Elemental. Uh, this looks a lot like... All right, double Spark Elemental. Looks a lot like our uh, budget burn. I guess we can bring in the Gopher the Throat over a War Calder is just kind of expensive. Try it like that. All right. We get to play first. If we draw lands, this hand could be awesome. Pluto Delta, go. Here comes the Swift Spear. All right, crack this. Get a blood smoldering marsh. Smoldering marsh. And now we'll crack this. Get a mountain. Play a death bellow raider on defense. See if our opponent has the bolt. Rift bolt exiled and real bolt. Ay. Our opponent and their bolts. We're probably going to have to shock ourselves. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, this feels very bad. Blood Crypt, untapped, down to 12. But we got to play our Boros Reckoner here. Rift Bolt, targeting our Boros Reckoner. So we ping the Swift Spear. Oh, we killed it? Oh, that's good. And Hellspark. We're getting low. 
Well, I guess we go Boros Reckoner, Polluted Delta, Crack It, get a Swamp, Gnarled Scarhide, and pass the turn. They're going to kill our Reckoner? Yep. Man, they love hitting our Reckoner. All right, we shoot our opponent down to 17. Only 17 more damage to go. And we can't block, so we're going to 5. Just kidding. We're going even lower than 5 to 2, which means we're pretty much dead. Lots of triggers. Well, get our opponent to 15. Uh, I guess we just play Fanatic of Mogus, ping our opponent for 1. Smoldering Marsh, and now uh, we should be dead to some sort of burn spell. We're not going to out aggro burn too often. Jeez, is that from their hand? Yeah, we're dead. So many Hell Sparks. Alright, against odds, red, black, minotaurs. Ugh, again, zero lands. Now one land? Ugh, maybe we can scry into a land. Alright, we'll scry into Blood Crypt. Uh, Alright, what did Foothills go? Don't want to crack it because we need to draw the land on top of our deck. For catacombs. So, Blood Crypt, untapped, sack wooded Foothills, get a mountain, and Death Bell Raider. We're on a string of Death Bell Raiders. All right, opponent gets a Overgrown Tomb, Black Cleave Cliff, so this looks like Jund. And there's a Goyf. Fanatic Amogus we can't cast, so let's attack with our Death Bellow Raider. And then I guess we just bolt this Goyf right now before another card type gets in the graveyard. And that's another Goyf. That means our Death Bellow Raider is going to suicide. Oh, we needed lands, lands. <laughs> Look at all these red mana symbols. We could win just with Fanatic Amogus if we were drawing lands, but it wasn't meant to be. Is this Liliana? Yep. Well, I guess we pitch Rage, Rage Blood Shaman. Our opponent discarded another Liliana. Attacks for Fowler. Land? Gnarled Scarhide. All right, get in there. Yeah, we're not going to win with two lands. That's just not going to happen. Terminate? Sure. Dark Confidant. Makes us discard. Well, we might as well discard a million drop. The problem now is, even if we get to play things, they can just kill it with Liliana. Yeah, that does it. Not getting out of that. Well, we need to draw more than two lands. That much is true. Dismembers, go for the throats. Thought seizes seem good. Going down, War Callers, Diabolic Tutor, um, Death Bellow Raider, and can we play four dismembers? Is that too many? A couple Fanatic of Mogus? All right, try it like that. Well, we have things we can cast. We can Thought Seize turn one. So Wooded Foothills, Crack It, Blood Crypt, Untapped, and Thought Seize ourselves down to 15. I guess we just take a Goyf, let them keep their removal. Black Cleave Cliffs. All right, we're getting lands, that's good. So Wooded Foothills, Crack It, Snow Covered Mountain, Fellhide Brawler, can't be hit by Doomblade, so that's a win. Ooh, they drew another red source. So there's Dark Confidant. Go for the throat. Well, let's attack. I don't think our opponent's going to block here. And then let's just uh, kill the Dark Confidant. Play a tap Blood Crypt. Pass the turn. There's a Ghost Quarter. Opponent passes. Let's play our Rage Blood Shaman. Attack for three. I expect our Rage Blood to die to a Doom Blade here. Hmm, it does not. All right, we're not even going to play the land yet. We're just going to pass. In case they play a Liliana, we don't want to discard our removal spells. They drew an Anger of the Gods. That explains it. Creature? Well, Thoughtseize is not a creature, but it is a spell. Jeez. Kalidus, Melstrom Pross, Terminate, Doomblade. I guess we'll just take Tarmogoyf and pass the turn. One way we can win the game is the Harvest Pyre combo with our Boros Reckoner. So let's uh, kill this Kalidus. Play Wooded Foothills, pass the turn. They're going to Ghost Quarter themselves. Shouldn't be Huntmaster. Huntmaster and Kalidus? Hmm. All right. That's bad. Smoldering Marsh just keeps getting better. Now we're probably going to have to blow our Harvest Pyre to kill this Huntmaster. So our combo kills off the table. And yeah, I think we're going to have a hard time winning now. Because our opponent has so many removal spells. All right, let's crack Polluted Delta, get a Blood Crypt. All right, Rage Monger. Dies to our opponent's removal, but we might as well cast it. We just know they have three removal spells in hand, so it's going to be almost impossible to stick a creature. And now they drew a treetop village? Ugh. Yep, that does it. Yikes. All right, well, Jund is good. Against odds time, red, black, minotaurs. And we got some minotaurs. Temple Garden, Noble High Ark. Land? All right, I guess we got to crack this and just kill the, kill the High Ark. Ooh, well, if we draw our third land in the next two draw steps, 
I'll kind of feel okay with our million wreck in her hand. Thalia, not super relevant. Smoldering Marsh, go. Alright, we're taking two, and our opponent passes. Alright, Blood Crypt, untapped, and I think we're just going to go with a Rage Monger. Pass the turn. Even if they path it, at least we get another land. And path it is. Alright, well, we get a land. Uh, we'll just get another red source. That's okay. Ether Vial, sure. Well, we take two from Thalia, but now we can start playing Reckoners. Alright, uh, actually, let's play our Mountain. Play Boros Reckoner. Pretty hard to attack through, so they really need another path or something. And this Fnatic is going to hit for a ton if we have three Reckoners out. No attacks. Ooh, man. Alright, let's get in with Boros Reckoner. Pluto Delta, crack it. Man, this might be the one. Uh, Smoldering Marsh, <laughs> Boros Reckoner, Boros Reckoner. <laughs> <laughs> the old triple Boros Reckoner hand. <laughs> uh, this could be good. Fnatic Amogus can hit for <laughs> can hit for ten, and if we uh, draw another land and can play Rage Blood first, it hits for uh, twelve. That might be enough to win the game. No attacks. Well, there's a the land. All right, let's play Rage Blood Shaman. Fn <laughs> Fnatic Amogus <laughs> for twelve damage. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh no. What do they have? Oh, they just activated and then scooped. Sweet! Well, that's the that's the Minotaur nut draw. <laughs> oh, we'll take it. Probably want our Blasphemous Axe and more removal. Go down these Death Bellow Raiders, War Call, and, well, Diabolic Tutor and one War Caller. Let's try it like that. Well, we can try it. Again, we're going to need a land, but... We have our incredibly busted Rage Monger, Ether Vial for our opponent. We'll just play a tap. Uh, maybe I should. I probably should have played Gnarled Scarhide, actually. Eh, what's he gonna do with one arm? Not much. No, we're drawing our lands. Let's go Gnarled Scarhide, Snow Covered Mountain, pass the turn. We want to leave out this bolt so they can't put in a Leon and Arbiter and then Ghost Quarter us to. Oh, double Ghost Quarter us. That would be bad. So, Bolt gives us protection from that because we can. Bolt the Arbiter. Well, some protection. Saves one land, at least. Oh, they're gonna Ghost Quarter them. Well, that fear was overblown. And... Locks down Smiter. Pretty big. Well, let's Wooded Foothills. Crack Wooded Foothills. They didn't play like they had an Arbiter. And just... Rage Monger. Pass the turn. So our opponent can start beating us down with Locks down Smiter, but... Alright, Aether Vile. Pride Mage, so they can start hitting for even more damage. We'd like to play our Reckoner first. I guess we can Reckoner into Fnatic next turn. Yeah, there's the path. Get another Snow-Covered Mountain. Well, at least Reckoner is good on defense. And it's still good with Fnatic Amogus, even without Ragemonger. Well, let's play... Man, is a little awkward. Let's attack with our Scarhide. Opponent has <laughs> Mirian Crusader. All right, let's, uh, let's bolt Mirian Crusader. Hit our opponent to 18. Boros Reckoner, Swamp, Scarhide. All right, see what happens. Reckoner does shut down the Loxodon Smiter, because we block it and then shoot it down with damage. We could also draw a Blasphemous Act, which would be sweet. Uh, Arbiter, not especially relevant now. And Path, oh lord. Well, that is bad. So our opponent's out of cards, but we're going to need to draw something. We're taking six, down to eight. Bloodstained Mire wasn't what we were hoping for. So we attack with both. Bloodstained Mire, pay two for Arbiter, sack Bloodstained Mire, get a Smoldering Marsh, Fanatic of Mogus, yeah, double path is, that's rough. Pings for one, ugh. When it goes to attacks, Smiter, yeah, I guess we have to chump here, unfortunately. We pretty much gotta play towards a Blasphemous Act, I think, or another Boros Reckoner. Alright, Aether Vial isn't too scary. Blasphemous Act? Rage Blood. Well, I guess we can Rage Blood, attack with both creatures. Are we somehow going to get there? I mean, we're dead to a path, but we can't do anything about that. Alright, opponent takes it. Down to seven. See what they draw. Eh, this ended up being pretty close, actually, despite the two paths. Think if our opponent had one path, we would have won. Goes to attacks. Swings with everything? Did they draw a third path? Alright, let's uh, block Pride Mage. How are they going to blow us out here? I'm so confused. Oh, they just block, they just sack it? Okay. So, if they need something or we win... Down to one. And a bolt. Well, let's play Fnatic of Mogus. Oh, we got there! <laughs> oh my goodness. A win. A win. It's possible. Oh, I 
am so confused why your opponent attacked like that. But, alright! <laughs> we, we did it! Oh, sweet! Red Black Minotaurs! Alright, against odds, Red Black Minotaurs in modern. One armed, one drop. Alright, Blood Crypt, untapped. Gnarled Scarhide. Pass the turn. From Catacombs for our opponent. Passes. Alright, let's get in for two. Another untapped Blood Crypt. Felhide Brawler. <laughs> Pass the turn. All oh, these cards are just so uh, surprising to see in modern. Cracks of Vern Catacombs. <laughs> Wall of Roots, alright. Well, hopefully we draw land. Not a land. Alright, let's attack. Opponent's gonna block. Oh, man. I think we gotta bolt the Wall of Roots and get rid of it. Another land for our opponent. And Birds of Paradise. And Vasira Seer. Oh, they're gonna try to combo off. Oh, Ragemonger. Not finding that third land. Attack with both. And it's Death Bellow time. <laughs> Death Bellow Raider. You know he's gonna be attacking. Like it or not. Oh man, I feel a collected company. Well, we did get the land. So let's crack this, get a mountain. Let's go with Rage Blood. Pump everything up, give him trample. Still could get blown out by a collected company, depending on what our opponent hits. And now we do some attacking. If they like abrupt decay our Rage Blood, then at least they're not casting collected company. Oh boy. Land crack almost certainly means collected company. Double land crack? Where they got like path and collected company? Oh, they have cord. Alright, cord of calling can get a three drop. Fiend hunter. Fiend hunter gets our rage blood. Alright. We still are maybe sort of getting there, depending on what our opponent has. Yeah, that's bad. They do get to kill our gnarled scarhide. So our opponent's down to five. That's not the highest life total I've ever seen. Overgrown tomb. Tapped. Lightning Bolt would be sweet. Blood Crypt. Alright, Blood Crypt. Untapped. And then we'll play a Rage Monger. They still could have Collected Company. Should have played Petrifier there. Reduces it a black and a red, so it still has the colorless in there. We have another Court of Calling. Court of Calling, X3. How many Fiend Hunters does this deck play? Oh, they get Kitchen Finks. Alright, Kitchen Finks is still annoying. Goes up to seven. Blocks. Blocks. Alright, Persist. Goes up to nine. Pass the turn. Opponent only has one card in hand, and we do have a Diabolic Tutor, and this Petrifier. Is this another Cord of Calling? Good god. Cord X2. That's the third Cord. Well, let's see what we draw. Smoldering Marsh comes into play tapped! No! Well, now we're most likely dead. Let's play Petrifier. Smoldering Marsh. I'm so confused. Why is there a mana floating? It should cost two to cast. I don't know. Well, let's go attacking, see what happens. If we had an untapped land, we could have Diabolic Tutored. Well, they're going to let their Finx go? Alright. Uh, well, they must have another Finx in hand or something. Or another, the fourth Court of Calling. They have Eternal Witness to get back, probably Court of Calling to get a Finx. Alright, they get back a Court, and essentially that's the game. I guess we can try to bluff that we have a Lightning Bolt. We needed an untapped land to kill that Anafenza. Actually, they can't cord right now because of how they tapped. So I guess we're not just dead. They have a pride mage. Wow. <laughs> wow, our opponent uh, punted their way out of that. If they had just left a green source, that's why they paused. They mistapped. If they had just left a green source up, we were dead. But they don't have the green mana for cord. So now I guess we have some chance of winning since we can Diabolic Tutor. Ooh, and a Harvest Pyre. All right, let's, let's swing with both. See what our opponent does here. Blocks and blocks. Okay. Well, now <laughs> Diabolic Tutor is going to pull its weight. <laughs> Diabolic Tutor. Yes, yes. Uh, get a Lightning Bolt, I guess. Yeah, I guess we can just wait. So if they go to combo off, we have to kill the Anafenza with the cord on the stack. Not, uh. They did draw a Fangs. Wow, that means we're dead anyway. Because they can cord for an Anafenza. So if we kill Anafenza here, they cord for an Anafenza. We are ahead on cards. I guess we can just kill the Anafenza. Then they cord for Anafenza, gain as much life as they want to. Drawing the drawing the Finks was huge. Huge draw for our opponent. Alright, so now we have six. Let our opponent gain as much life as they want. And then hope we can play through our entire deck and win that way. And they got a Malyra, same thing. So we'll come back when our opponent stops gaining life. Alright, our opponent gained up to 55, tax us down to 11. We draw a Rage Blood Shaman, so we'll cast it. Attack with our Petrifier, Trample and Death Touch, our opponent takes it. And then, 
I guess we'll just pass. See what our opponent scribed at the top. Another cord? The fourth cord? Well, we get to kill the Malyra. Then they got a cord for another Malyra or Anafensa. Eternal Witness, okay. Get back a cord. Tax with Finx. And we'll just take it for now. Ooh, Fanatic of Mogus. Get in that three damage. Well, let's go attacking. Opponent takes it. Well, Fanatic Arma of Mogus, our opponent down to 44. Getting there. Spell Skite. Cord. Eternal Witness. Get back, Cord. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I guess we attack with two creatures. Put our opponent all the way down to 36. <laughs> Fanatic of Mogus for four. Down to 32. <laughs> Oh, man. If they hadn't drawn that Finx right there, I think we would have won. Man, a collected company. Eternal Witness. Noble High Arc. Eternal Witness can get back Cord. Oh, they got double Noble High Arc. Okay. The Witness was uh, already there. Now they can Cord. Cordex 1? Why are you going to Cordex 1? Another Noble High Arc. Sure. Oh, they're going to go on the Bird's Plan. I guess that's reasonable. That does win them the game in two attacks. All right, down to four. Now we gotta wait, uh, I don't know if we even draw anything here, actually. Yeah. Alright, that does it. Well, that was closer than it looked. Bring in our removals, our thought seizes, go down war callers, diabolic tutors, death bellow raider, go down a petrifier. Is that even worth it? No pithing needles, and I guess a couple rage mongers. And now we're basically trying to get the combo kill with Blasphemous Act. Okay, I guess. Pluto Delta Goo. From Catacombs, Cracks It, Temple Garden, High Art. All right, Pluto Delta, get a Bloodstain Mire, or Blood Crypt, rather. Land? Lightning Bolt. All right, let's uh, bolt the High Art, play Pluto Delta. See if we draw another land next turn. Would be sweet. Wooded Foothills, Cracks It. Wow, Temple Garden untapped. Draining their own life total pretty quick. Roll wall of Roots. Land, please? Oh, my goodness. This, again. Not going to be able to cast our three drops on time means... Very likely not going to win. Finx. Goes back up to 16. There's a land. There's a chance we just die, but got to do what we got to do. Ragemonger. Pass the turn. So if they can get two more combo pieces, then go infinite here. Fiend Hunter. Okay. Great. Tax with Finx. Hmm. Can we afford to kill the Wall of Roots? Well, let's... Let's lightning bolt the Fiend Hunter. Get back our Ragemonger. And then what can we do? If we play Ragemonger here next turn, we could play... Well, I guess we can play Rageblood Shaman here. I'm so confused why that's working. I think Ragemonger is bugged, actually. Because that should cost two, right? That's double red. This reduces the cost a black and a red. So... <laughs> I didn't know it was bugged, but apparently Ragemonger is bugged. Oh no, are they just going to combo us off naturally? Uh, we'll just take it. Alright, uh, Wooded Foothills, Ragemonger. Oh man, they just let us cast that for free. Free! Literal free. But we didn't cast our Boros Reckoner first. I'm s if we cast our Boros Reckoner first, that would have been even better. There is definitely something buggy going on. We should not be able to cast Fanatic Amogus for free. Maybe that's why our opponent was playing. Uh, they have a path on a Rage Monger. So is this going to let us, what, cast Boros Reckoner for one? Man, I wish we cast our Boros Reckoner first. I, I just wanted to see how much it was going to charge us for it. I didn't think it would just cast it. <laughs> I just wanted to see how much to make sure we had enough mana. But then it just it just cast it. Well, they probably are going to combo off here and kill us anyway. Yep, here's Cord for Viserys here. So our opponent gets to gain an infinite amount of life, although they might time themselves out. So we'll return after they do this. <laughs> well, apparently Red Black Minotaurs can't even win consistently when Ragemonger is super busted. Apparently it's just reducing its mana cost by... Well, let's go attacking. Not that it especially matters, because our opponent can combo off and gain life whenever they want to. When it takes it, I guess we may as well thought seize. Take an eternal witness. And our opponent got the cord so we can get a murderous red cap, and that does it. I can't even win with the bugged rage monger. Against odds, red black minotaurs of all things. Oh man, we have our diabolic tutor. Can be literally any card in our deck for only four mana. <laughs> Uh, I don't really want to be playing Diabolic Tutor, but it's an homage to the deck that started this whole thing. The deck that beat us a couple weeks ago. They 
They definitely hit Diabolic Tutor. So that's why we have a single Diabolic Tutor. Maybe it'll be good. Who knows what spicy card we could turn it into. Bloodstained Mire. Oh, are they just going to Thought Seize our Diabolic Tutor? Lightning Bolt, our Gnarled Scarhide. Uh, well, let's play the Mountain. Play our Felhide Brawler. Can't block. Our opponent doesn't have any creatures, so win-win. Steam Vents, they're maintaining... Look at all the bolts. Well, Death Bellow Raider. Gonna get in there. Wooded Foothills, pass the turn. Couldn't play a Reckoner, because we have this Swamp. Scalding Tarn, cracks it. Island. Sna Snapcaster for the bolt. Ay! All right, sure. Bolt, snap, bolt, bolt, bolt. I guess the bolt, bolt was first, but you, you get what I'm saying. All right. Oh, Minotaurs. We'll get a Blood Crypt here. Not pay the life. Polluted Delta. Crack it. Get one of our Smoldering Marshes. Play our Boros Reckoner. Play our Gnarled Scarhide. And <coughs> what do you got, opponent? Scalding Tarn. Passes. Felhide Petrifier. Swing with both. One's going to block our Boros Reckoner. Uh, unless they're planning on killing that, it doesn't really help that much. Oh, they might have Electrolyze. Well, let's play Felhide Petrifier. Pass the turn. Well, we're slow rolling our Diabolic Tutor. Yep, there's Electrolyze. Well, our opponent's down to 12. I guess we're kind of doing it. Death Touch means it's not very blockable. 2-3 trumps a uh, Snapcaster. So this is like Grixis Control or Delver or something. Dismember, not good at the moment. Well, let's attack with our Felhide Petrifier. Put our opponent to 12. I guess we've just passed here. I don't think we need to Diabolic Tutor yet. I don't really know what we need yet. Phone's got something. Pia and Karen Nalar. Well, I think we're going to kill that. Or attempt to. Alright, Pia and Karen down. Opponent gets their Thopters. Rageblood would be nice. Woo! <laughs> Called it. Alright, Rageblood Shaman. Does it resolve? It does. Gives our Petrifier Trample. Unless they can kill it. They've already burnt through a lot of bolts. Which means it can't just be chumped by these Thopters. Our opponent's going to attempt to chump anyway, not understanding what, how trample works. Or maybe they just wanted to soak up one point of damage. <laughs> no one expects the trample lord. Man, we're actually kind of close to winning if our opponent doesn't have anything crazy. And a bolt. Alright, let's go attacking. Opponent again attempts to chump something with trample. Well, actually no. Let's just pass. If our opponent cracks this fetch, we have potentially lethal from lightning bolt. Are we going to win? Are minotaurs going to win? With the tricky trample lord. Smoldering Marsh. Alright, let's uh go attacking. <laughs> Are we gonna Yes! <laughs> Three lightning bolts and a snapcaster. And a PN Karenalar and an Electrolyze. You can't beat the Minotaurs. And you can't chump them, as as our opponent learned this game. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe they kept trying to chump our trample creatures. Uh, we probably want Thought Seizes, I guess. Kind of always just want Thought Seizes. What do we not want? Maybe go down a Dismember, a Diabolic Tutor, a Petrifier, and... Uh, do you think they're playing Young Pyromancer? Uh, was that a Delver deck? If they're a Young Pyromancer, Blasphemous Act is actually very good. I guess we can bring in that over Harvest Pyre and go down. Well, let's go three Thought Seizes and one War Caller. Let's try it like that. All right, what do we have here? A Bolt, Double Rage Monger. Whoa, a big chat window. Only one land, though. If we don't draw another land, we're kind of in trouble. Let's mulligan that one. Well, we got the, the combo. Poros Reckoner and Blasphemous Act. Island into Serum Visions for our opponent. Question is, do we need to Thought Seize on turn one? If we do, we either gotta search out a Blood Crypt and go all the way down to 15, or get a Swamp and not cast Reckoner on time. Now yeah, let's just play Smoldering Marsh. We'll Thought Seize on turn two. We don't have anything else to do. Land for our opponent. Ooh, another Reckoner? Ooh, double combo. All right, let's Thought Seize. Opponent remands it. All right, now we'll Polluted Delta, Crack Polluted Delta, get a Blood Crypt and Thought Seize again. Bolt, Colgan's Command, Burst Lightning. Well, I guess we take Bolt, because it's the only one that reliably kills Boros Reckoner. If they got to use two cards to kill a Boros Reckoner, that's not the end of the world. War Caller. All right, Boros Reckoner. A good trump to burn removal. Hopefully they didn't draw a counter. All right, so if they want to use, like, Burst Lightning plus Colgan's Command to kill Boros Reckoner, that is fine by us. And if they ever go wide, we can just Blasphemous Act and win that way. Double Reckoner... Oh, they drew a Snapcaster? Alright. So we're going to Snapcaster the Bolt on our Boros Reckoner. I think we're just going to hit our opponent. 
down to 16, because we can play another Reckoner. And Snapcaster, they can get back with Colgan's Command. Now that they have black mana. So they have Burst Lightning, Colgan's Command, and an Unknown. They are at 15. Ooh, Serum Visions. Hits us down to 13. Let's play another Boros Reckoner. Play the Bloodstained Mire, pass the turn. Oh, they drew a real removal spell. And a land, well, we know their hand. Burst Lightning, Colgan's Command. Well, do we need to crack this? Probably not. Lightning Bolt. All right, let's uh, Felhide Brawler and pass the turn. Really don't want to kill this Snapcaster until they use their Coligan's Command. There's the Coligan's Command. Well, in that case, I think we just Lightning Bolt the Snapcaster because we don't want them getting it back with the Coligan's Command. Discard Blasphemous Act and hope we get a land and we can start War Callering. Well, I guess we can Thought Seize. Remand and Burst Lightning. We're just going to take the Remand. Leave our opponent with the Burst Lightning. Don't really want to get our 5-drop Remanded. All right, let's draw Action. Lightning Bolt, not exactly. Action. Oh, they draw Colgan's Command. Oh, they're just going to Burst Lightning us down to 5? All right. Sure. Come on, land! All right, crack this. Hopefully they don't have another Burst Lightning. Smoldering Marsh, War Caller. Boom! <laughs> oh, no, you drew a counter? Oh, they did draw another Burst Lightning, all right. All right, that's a lot of Burst Lightnings. All right, let's try it again. And, all right, reasonable. Well, I think we're just going to go fetch land here and pass. Island and Serum Visions. So I think we're just gonna get a Mountain and then, ooh, another Reckoner. Death Bellow Raider. This way we can crack our Pluto Delta and get a untapped dual land for no life. Double Reckoner is sweet. Another Serum Visions. Oh, this might be the time! That means Reckoner is not going to get countered. Although, they left both on top. Do they not have a second land? Oh, they do. Alright, well, if they sack the Bloodstained Mire, they shuffle away their scries. Oh, and Blasphemous Sack, good lord. Alright, let's get in with our Death Bellow. Put our opponent to 18. Pluta Delta, crack it. Get a Smoldering Marsh, and we'll just uh, Boros Reckoner here. So they need, like, a Terminus. Terminate. Terminus would be good as well. <laughs> but I don't think they have Terminus in their deck. Scalding Tarn and pass. Ooh, cracks Bloodstained Mire. Gets a Mountain. And Lightning Bolt's Death Bellow. Well, let's attack with Boros Reckoner. Play Gnarled Scarhide. Blood Crypt. Untapped. And Felhide Petrifier. Pass the turn. Cracks Scalding Tarn. Alright, they're down to 13. The perfect amount of life to die to the Boros Reckoner Blasphemous that combo. Ooh, Anger of the Gods? Anger of the Gods is annoying. All right, good news is we put our opponent down to 10, and we have another Boros Reckoner, and another Boros Reckoner. Well, I do like continually drawing Boros Reckoners. Definitely the best Minotaur ever printed. Sorry, Herloon. Down to nine? Oh man, I think we got a chance. I'm sure they're getting black mana. Terminate is still bad, because it kills Boros Reckoner without taking damage. Colgan's Command isn't that bad. Snapcaster for Lightning Bolt. Alright, well, opponent is down to six. Alright, Boros Reckoner. Oh, so close. So close. Another land for our opponent. PN Karen. Oh, man! Oh, it's gonna turn out Blasphemous Act. Come on. Come on. Let's let's not have a counter one time. Uh, Snow-Covered Mountain. Also, we don't have uh, a way to kill our Boros Reckoner. Blasphemous Act. Yes! I <laughs> got the combo! <laughs> oh, red, black minotaurs, it's possible! It's possible! We found the secret sauce <laughs> for beating the modern format. It's red, black minotaurs with Diabolic Tutor and Blasphemous Act. Good game, well played opponent. <laughs> oh, yes. That was sweet. Oh, <laughs> so what did we learn this week? Well... I think two things. First off, Red Black Minotaurs is not very good. That is, that was predictable going into it, and it holds true now that we've played a bunch of matches with it. It is bad at pretty much every spot on the curve. The, the one drops a bit is bad, and there's not enough of them. The two drops are bad, and there's not enough of them. There's a ton of three drops, and some of them are pretty good, but like every good Minotaur is printed at three drop. Uh, Boros Reckoner is the one card that in our deck that I think is legitimately good with Rage Blood Shaman actually being a decent lord and Rage Monger being better than it should be because it is bugged on Magic Online at the moment. And then four and five drops are fine. Fanatic of Mogus isn't great in the deck because we have to play a lot of black cards so we can't really power it up 
as much as we'd like. So we're really, the times when it is good is few and far between when we have like multiple Boros Reckoners or Rageblood Shamans. And then our Warcaller at 5 drop is just so slow. Like it seems powerful, but it's a 2-3 for 5. Even though it's giving everything haste and pumping it when it attacks, 5 mana is just too much. So I cannot recommend playing Red Black Minotaurs. I'm glad we tried it, and it is kind of funny and different. And it could get better if there's another set that really supports Minotaurs in the future. I could see it being a playable tribe. Like, it does have a few things going for it. Uh, mostly Boros Reckoner and Rageblood Shaman, but also Ragemonger. If the right, if you had a, a Burning Tree Emissary that was in black and red, and you could play it for free off Rageblood, that would be absurd, and that could actually make the deck potentially good. So there's a chance that it'll get good in the future, but right now... I think every game we won was either because our opponent had a bad draw or we drew three plus Boros Reckoners. So all around, our overall record, we won five of 17 matches, which puts, or five of 17 games, which puts us down below 30%. We won two out of seven matches, and a lot of the other ones didn't feel particularly close. And even those matches, like Green White Hate Bears, they had a really bad stumbly draw and then the Grixis control deck I don't know how that happened we drew a ton of Boros Reckoners I guess is the takeaway from that one so <laughs> I'm glad we tried it it's interesting and fun but ah it's not a very good deck and I don't think there's really any fixing it until they print more Minotaurs at some point in the future Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed our Red Black Minotaur videos in Modern. Make sure to check out the website, mtggoldfish.com. If you enjoyed the video, take a second to click the subscribe button that's about to pop up on the bottom of your screen and the like button. Uh, anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the videos, and I will talk to you soon.